records are made to be broken. Humanity has proven that time and again. Setting a record puts your name in the history books amongst legends. And in the hill climb world, the Mount Washington Auto Road is held in high regard. Cameras don't do it justice. They don't show just how narrow it is, how the camber teeters from edge to edge. They betray how steep it gets or the risk required to rewrite the record book. Every three years, the hill climb community gets their chance. They bring all the horsepower they can muster. They gather their courage and their resolve. And this weekend, Subaru Rally Team USA will attempt to renew their existing record with one that will stand the test of time. The two drivers will run the lightest and fastest rally cars ever built at Vermont Sports Car. As they try and stamp their name on this historic event, which for over 100 years has been a true defining test of team and machine. This is Launch Control. Six forty five AM. All is calm at the base of the mountain. Subaru Rally Team USA arrives for the third consecutive day on the mountain. It's pretty cool. Any day that's this beautiful on this mountain, where you got a chance to go faster than anyone has ever gone and set a record. I mean, I was worried. I was worried it was going to be a foggy day. I was worried it was going to be a rainy day. And, you know, things change on the mountain quick, but it's looking good. We're here at the 2017 Subaru Mount Washington Hill Climb. Such an awesome event, one of the most ultimate driving challenges I think there is. Um, certainly the biggest challenge I've ever come across. The last two days were practice. Today the teams will get two full runs up the seven and a half mile, 4,600 foot climb. Different tire strategy. Always gotta do something different. As their start times draw near, the drivers mount up. With the fastest times in practice, they'll both start near the end of the session. David Higgins is the 2014 record holder and first of the Subarus today. These are anything but the standard rally cars. This year, you know, Vermont Sports Car have given us some, some beasts to go and try and tame the hill with. Basically, they've taken the rally motor out, put the GRC motor in, and then strip the car of anything that weighs anything that isn't for safety. They've been lightened with a stiffer tarmac suspension and brake package added. And the engine from the Rallycross program has been installed, giving them double the power and torque figures. They tested these machines earlier in the week, and the outright speed was impressive, to the point of being nerve-wracking. Two corners of the first practice run, that excitement turned into a pretty even split between panic and fear. This is the fastest Subaru I've ever driven, up the craziest mountain I've ever driven. Got to really forget everything we've done from before and relearn these, this new way of driving these type of cars. My biggest competition is also my teammate. David is a better driver. He has driven more, he has more experience driving. He can find the limits of cars a little bit quicker. I find it by crashing. Um, the reality is that you know we've got to go out and beat, beat each other as well. To compete with David, to be even on his same, in, in the same ballpark as David Higgins, I have to take huge risks. I have to do it all the way up. And these cars are so fast, <laughs> I'm, I'm nervous. With testing and practice out of the way, it's now down to the business of replacing a record. Oh, 
Higgins is off the line. Without a co-driver, this is a unique challenge. They've both spent countless hours on the mountain in preparation. Higgins is flying as he passes the radar, clocking 116 miles per hour. A new speed trap record. Back at the bottom of the mountain, the two 800 horsepower hill climb cars between Higgins and Pastrana have departed up the hill. A three minute window is all the time left between Pastrana and the mountain. With no split times to know what his teammate is doing. That's because this mountain is anything but forgiving. Over 100 years ago, before the Indy 500 or Pikes Peak Hill Climb were born, the first Mount Washington Hill Climb took place. It started with steam power and grew from there. Today, a variety of classes run the mountain. Some just for the challenge. Others for class victory. And a few aspire to owning the record. And while Pikes Peak may finish at a higher altitude, Mount Washington has a more complex and challenging path to its peak. Everyone who is here knows there's a possibility that they won't succeed. Back on board with Higgins, his run has reached fever pitch. David's focus on each corner is critical. His teammate behind him will set the benchmark time for the record today. And there's a lot of corners that look very, very similar. When we did it with pace notes before with a co-driver, we know exactly where we're gonna go, exactly where we're gonna turn. Now you're gonna do it on your own. Some of these corners, it might be a high speed fourth gear corner. It could also be one that's like a really slow third gear corner. So now I'm trying to do everything that I've taught myself not to do over the last 20 years of rallying. You know, forget what the pace note call was, but look at landmarks where things change and where, you know, marker posts where the marshals are and try and get some visuals from this. clears the tree line. He's more than halfway up and on track to shave nearly 30 seconds off the record. In one of the practices, I had like an overflow of an oil pipe that was leaking and it was burning. And the second my mind started to think about what's that smell, I stopped remembering where the road was. Where in a rally situation, you've always got the, rem the reminder of the road there. Now I've got to really ignore everything else around me and just stay in the focus, stay in the zone of the, of the road. This could be the run that rewrites the history books. But it's not meant to be.
David's unhurt, but his record attempt is over. Back at the start line, Pastrana is set to start his run in less than a minute. He revs his engine to bring it up to temperature. Pressure is on. seconds to go. And the race organizer stop his run before it starts. Words made it down the mountain that there's been a crash. At this point, they don't know it's Higgins. There's a red flag. shutting down. Red flag. Not sure what happened. Somebody, I don't know. He's just told me red flag. 24, though. Travis turns off his car to conserve fuel. Okay, so we're sending the four cars down for a rerun. So everybody really got a rerun. So if you want to push them right back out of the way, that's fine. So we're going to be bringing some cars back. The team's told that all cars affected by the red flag will have to restart. Travis, back out of the way. That's when the word comes down that it's David that has caused the red flag. That had the problem. Oh, he's fine. He's off over the edge or something. I don't know about the car. It's all for now. David, this is it. I'm all David, you all right? Yeah, I'm all good. It's okay. It's okay. Mega disappointed just for the effort and the work that you put into it and the fact that the run was going so well. Um, really got everything really, really good up to that point. But unfortunately, there's a really deceptive bit with a few corners in this lead up to that one. And I thought I had one more faster corner before there. Then when I came over there, it was a bit too late. So I just tried to send it in and pin it and see what happens. But smacked the hell out of the rock to a point where the brake disc in the wheel and everything stayed there. And that was it, game over. But these things happen when you're trying. You know, I've always said if you're going fast enough to win the event, you're going fast enough to crash an event. And that's, that's no different today. Well, it sucks for, it sucks for David, but it's almost harder now knowing, knowing that. All right, go like hell. Same plan. With the course cleared, focus turns back to Travis. For the second time, he gears himself up to depart. This time, there is no interruption. With his team made out of the equation, the pressure is slightly less, but that's not to say he's stress-free. He's here to set a record that will stand the test of time. speed trap. He's slower than David at 110 miles per hour. He's conserving his tires, which could help his time higher on the mountain. Down at base camp, the team waits for updates. He's a pepto baseball. It's pretty rare that I get like nervous when the car goes out. But you know, I, yeah, I was, I was, all these years I've been doing it, and, and then like it's going off and you're like, yeah, it's until you see somebody in car for these cars now the way they are, you're like, you know, it's a, it's a gnarly place. But then you add the extra power and the less weight and the speed that they're going now, it's like, it's not a forgiving exactly. place. At the split, Pastrana is 1.5 seconds off David's incomplete run, but still well ahead of the race pace from 2014. Without a doubt, I know I can break the old record. With these cars, if I can't, it's not because the car isn't capable. Um, we should be literally between 10, maybe 20 seconds faster than last year. Lefts and rights into rights and lefts. Every corner looks almost the same. Some you have to break, others you push through. 
This mountain's really interesting because you see a lot of people go off just thinking they're in the wrong corner. Because really at that point it's just not only memory, but memory of where you are. And if you get scared, you tend to forget what corner you just passed last. There's not openings, there's not trees, there's not markers. They all look exactly the same. And all of them are different. Pastrana's visual memory helps him recall the road as he picks up the pace. When it came down to tracks, I can still tell you almost every track and every line and the changes of every year, every racetrack since I was six years old. That's good. However, this is not the same road that we drove up. It is, but these cars are so much better. The awareness of each corner, coupled with courage and car handling, is the making of a masterful run. Clears the tree line. Here he can see more of what's coming, but also the immense drop to one side. The one thing that's got really difficult for the driver now this year is everything that I had marked flat and wide open, corners that I didn't even think about, are now braking, sliding, turning. So I gotta relearn this mountain, but I've always been able to step up to wherever the competition level is, and I really believe that I will be able to do that on this race, but I'm gonna have to take risks onto the dirt and his pulse quickens. He doesn't know his split time, but he's on track to shatter the record. where Higgins went off. He's carrying the torch for the team. Off the dirt and onto the fastest section of the entire mountain. Commitment is required. The top part, it's almost all wide open. There's some sections that are wide open, but it's got a rock on the inside of one side, inside the other side, inside this side, and it's straight if you're perfect. But the road undulates and the car hops around, and if you miss the line by this much, you either got a flat or you're going off. I mean, doing that at 100, 120 with an infinity 4,000 foot cliff, it's um, one of the scariest things you'll ever do in your life. to the clouds, he's on the home stretch. Flat through the last corner and over the line. A new record has been set. Five minutes, 44.72 seconds. Up and down the mountain, Realization of the feat sets in. Yes. Whoa! Great job with the car, guys. This is freaking amazing. Really, really appreciate it. I hope it's out. Man, epic, epic job, guys. Thank you. Fantastic job, Travis. Um, well done. Uh, we're all really, really happy, and congratulations. Awesome. Beat the record! <laughs> Well done, awesome. boys. Congrats. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Really good. Yeah. 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 Good work, y'all. Seriously. I don't know, I just think it's so cool. Like, in so much racing today, we've got almost everyone has the same car. Like, you look around, 
no one's got the same car, no one's got the same wings, no one's got the same downforce, the same horsepower, the same turbo. There's cars that do wheelies, there's cars that are front wheel drive. It's like, it's pretty rad. It's just true American hill climbing. It's good, it's, uh, it's good. The victory parade down with the checkered flag in hand gives Pastrana a few minutes to himself. A moment to let his accomplishments sink in. There is one big difference, and I, I, I hate to point out the elephant in the room, but usually it's... <laughs> <laughs> Usually, I know he's going to come across the finish line. And when I know before I start that he's not going to come across, I don't crash just to crash. I crash just no, trying I to catch him. To <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> I did my bit. <laughs> this meant a lot to me. I mean, to get the record here, um, you know, Mount Washington, it, it's something that's it's real close to everyone's heart at Vermont Sports Car. And to go up with almost double the horsepower, by yourself with no co-driver memorizing the run. Um, you know, it's been months of, of work on, on that kind of stuff, on just memorization, and it, it means a lot. It's really cool. A record that for the past 30 years has only been shaved seconds at a time has been cut by nearly 30. It's a really test of our metal, what we're able to pull off with, you know, the STI here. There's purpose-built hill climb, 800 horsepower beasts of cars here. And we're, you know, working with a production car modified for this event. And uh, we shined. And uh, we think we have the best car for the mountain no matter what. And we would challenge anybody to that. And in first place, with a record-setting time of 544.72, Travis Pastrana! This, this car was amazing, and I know that the guys at uh, Super Rally Team USA and are going to come back with something even better next time. And I know Dave's going to be hungry for this next time. And I would love to see anybody that wants to come over and any manufacturer that wants to try to get in. I think this is the beast right here. The Subaru is the best car I've ever driven. And that run up the hill was it's going to take some work. I'm not saying it can't be beaten. But uh, Ken Block, Reese Millen, you guys get your butts out here. Let's have some fun. Next time they open this mountain, bring what you got. <laughs>